Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a small problem whereby you're adding a camera to a network or somebody swapped out a faulty camera and then it doesn't come on the NVR when you try and view it. Now this camera is uh, set at IP address 10.0.0.1.0.2. So this is the IP address of this particular camera and obviously your cameras are going to be different but I'm just uh, highlighting that it's 102 so you can follow that through this uh, resolution of this problem right so I've put the username and the password and obviously this camera has been initialized so I know the camera is working I log in and uh, there you can see the view of this camera so the camera is online there's no problem but when I go to the NVR the screen of the NVR whether it's the uh, TV screen or the monitor screen or if I log in via smart PSS or via the web I'm actually not seeing this view so here's the list of the cameras and that's the second camera and when I click on it it shows me nothing and I know there's nothing wrong with the NVR because when I look at the camera nearby it's working so this camera is not showing me anything now when I show you smart PSS right so there's the one camera working fine and this is the other one and you can see it says fail to open video do not support this operation right so there you can see uh, 102 on the user's monitor it says the count has been locked now on closer inspection I've located what the problem is Right, so I've showed you three different error reports. The first one is via the NVR web login. This is the NVR's address. We could view all the cameras and you can see it's just a blank screen. It doesn't actually report an error. The error is just a blank screen. If you look via Smart PSS, it says fail to open video, do not support this operation. And if you look via the actual user monitor, it is it says there the account has been locked. Now, when I, what I notice is when I go into the remote section and you can do this via Smart PSS, you can see that it's got a red cross here telling me there's something wrong and the problem is is that this is an older NVR and in those days uh, the passwords were pretty simple it was admin admin whatever and you didn't always need to initialize the camera so now when you add a new camera the system is still using the default password and it's not actually able to log into the camera so what so what you got to do is change the password so there I go to modify and then it brings up this window and then just update your password and now when I update it, you'll see that it'll now work. So this is actually just a password problem. And there it's gone green. Just remember that if you logged into the same camera via two different methods, um, and the one method has the wrong password, then it won't change to the green. So just log yourself out and just make sure you logged in uh, only via the one place you are making the password change. So they have changed the password. And now you'll see that in the live view, the camera will be online. So there we go. I've double clicked on the camera and there you can see the camera is now online. And then obviously the same for Smart PSS. There you'll see uh, the camera is definitely online. All right. So thanks for watching. Cheers.